The Dutch Golden Age was a period in the history of the Netherlands spanning the 17th century in which the Dutch trade, science, military and art were among the most acclaimed in the world. Rachel Roosh was a painter and printmaker specialising in flowers and gaining international fame. She is the best documented woman painter of the Golden Age. As well as Roosh, Judith Leister was also a painter from the Dutch Golden Age, focusing on still lifes and portraits. Finally, Rembrandt, who is considered one of the greatest visual artists in the history of art and most important in Dutch art history. In still life with a bouquet of flowers and plums, we can see that Roosh uses techniques such as contrasting colors, light, and immense detail. The dark background for a bouquet contrasting against the lighter flowers shows us how she tried and tested ways of bringing colors and shapes to their own. She used light to produce a three-dimensional, more realistic effect. Another feature which sticks out to the common viewer are the subtle S-shapes shown in the composition. She seeks a more natural looking structure in contrast to the strong diagonals found in her earlier work. Uh, the fact that very few flowers in the bouquet cross also shows that the painter wished to present the various species in a way that made them clearly recognizable. It was painted in the time where Protestantism was the main religion and therefore artists were not being commissioned by the church. So the big difference here is that we don't have the heavy-handed subject matter of the religion. Instead, this is an artist at work who has just turned to talk to us for a moment, and there is that real sense of spontaneity, and you receive that emotion by the awkward momentary position of her body. Her brush is poised, she's turned around, and she's also supposedly being interrupted. A more specific example of the awkward positioning of her body could be her elbow. It is resting on the point of the chair. Surely that is not comfortable and that she was not going to hold that for any longer than a second. Also, the elbow and the brushes are foreshortened, creating not a lot of space between her and the viewers, which can also be described as the Baroque sense of closeness, where there is the breaking of the barrier between the viewer's face and the space in the painting. The Night Watch is a representation of the eponymous company moving out, being led by Captain Franz Benningcock who is the man dressed in black with a red sash accompanied by his lieutenant, William Van Rudenberg. One of the most important features in this artwork is a strong use of light, which is portrayed as sunlight against the shade. He uses the sunlight to shine onto the three most important characters in the artwork, the two gentlemen and the women in the background holding a chicken. The lady holding the chicken is important because she's carrying the main symbols which represent the traditional emblem of the archibuizers in a more natural way. It is as if she is the mascot herself. The claws of the dead chicken on her belt represent the clawineers and defeated adversaries. The pistol behind the chicken represents the clover while she's holding the malicious goblet. She shows three symbols of the emblem. As well, the man in front of her is wearing a helmet with an oak leaf, which was a traditional motive of the Arpaquizers. The color yellow is often associated with victory. Another important factor from this painting is the use of motion and how Rembrandt created the perception of motion in what would have been a static military group portrait.